Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Previously, on Sunday, we have read Leviticus chapter 20, in that we have seen some of the penalties for disobeying the laws of the Lord. The commandments which God has given, they are so precious. If you disobey them, there are some consequences. You will be dead in this country or you will be sent away in the wilderness to some other country. Those were the punishment. We have seen so many punishments for different types of sins means different types of disobedience they have committed that time. Now, today we are going to read Leviticus chapter 21. In today's session, we are going to see some of the regulations for the conduct of the priests. means the priest, the Aaron's descendants, the Aaron and his sons, all his descendants who are becoming priests in future, in coming generation, they have to keep some regulation in order to perform their duties. means they are going inside the tabernacle to perform all that incenses, burnt offerings, peace offerings, <coughs> all that offerings when they are performing, they have to come. They have to keep some rules and regulation and follow them. That is what God saying in this today's chapter. This chapter is not for the people but for the priest. This Moses will come directly to Aaron and talk to him. And to Aaron only, not to the people, not to the congregation. That's why we are going to read today in Leviticus chapter 21, some of the regulations for the conduct of priest. Before that, let us start this session with a prayer. Our Heavenly Father, as previously you were with us, helping us to understand the penalties for disobeying your laws. Today we are going to see some of the rules and regulations for the conduct of priest in Leviticus chapter 21. Help us to read the chapter, understand the chapter, go through it line by line, verse by verse, nicely, my Father. Help us to learn some life lessons also from that that it may be well with me and my generations coming, my Father. In the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So, regulations for conduct of priests. When the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the priests, the son of Aaron, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, None shall defile himself for a dead among his people. Means any funeral is going on. You are a priest, or priest or sons of Aaron, means his descendants only is a priest. Then you should not go to that funeral and defile yourself. You should not go near a dead body, except for his relatives who are nearest to him. But in these funerals you can go means these dead bodies you can go and see them his mother his father his son his daughter his brother also his virgin sister who is near to him who had no husband for her he may defeat himself his relatives his family members like mother father brother sister also who is a virgin who is not married yet there he can go and see the dead bodies the high priest remaining all the villages dead bodies <coughs> All people, he will not go there and see their dead bodies. It is a defilement to his body. Means he will defeat himself when he go there and see those dead bodies. That's why he has to go only to this dead bodies, only to this funeral ceremonies. <laughs> Otherwise, he shall not defeat himself, being a chief man among his people to profane himself. They shall not make any bald places on their heads nor shall they shave the edges of their beards, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Style cuttings they should not do, means beard shape doing stylish, stylish beards, moustaches they are putting, and curving their heads with stylish cuttings, side side cuttings only, keeping up like that all. That all they are not permitted to do. Tattoos also they should not make, cutting of skin is also not permitted. They shall be holy to their God and not profane the name of their God, Priest means nowadays we can see them as pastors, the preachers who preach for God. For them also these laws are applicable because they are preaching for God. They are saying something for God. That's why they are holy to God. They have to perform all this while preaching or doing something for God. They shall be holy to their God and not profane the name of their God. For they offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire and the bread of their God, therefore they shall be holy. They shall not take a wife who is a harlot or a defiled woman, 
nor shall they take a woman divorced from her husband for the priest is holy to his god therefore you shall sanctify him for he offers the bread of your god he shall be holy to you for i the lord who sanctify you i am holy also while choosing a wife a life partner they shall not take it as a adultery a hair lot a woman who is defeal already married and divorced from some one's husband let all things he should not do only a virgin he should take the real woman who does not marry with anyone and who is not defiled by any defilement or hair lottery adultery she didn't commit anything in her life that woman he should take not any other woman like simply anyone from market like that he should not take only a nice person whom god selects that only he should take the priest about priest is talking the daughter of any priest if she profanes herself by playing the hair lot she profanes her father she shall be burned with fire if she commits adultery her lot she shall be given she will be burned with fire at that time if she is a her father is priest she is the daughter of that priest then she will be burned with fire because being a daughter of priest she is doing this much bad things means bad name will come to her father that's why they have to burn her they have and he who is the high priest among his brethren on whose head the anointing oil was poured and who is consecrated to wear the garment shall not uncover his head nor tear his clothes nor shall he go near any dead body nor defile himself for his father or his mother but for high priest the rules are different for his father's or mother's dead body also he should not go and not tear his clothes not uncover his head all that are the regulation for the high priest for small priest means aaron sons they are only priest not high priest for them they can go to funeral ceremonies of their father mother but this high priest cannot go there also for his father or mother funeral ceremonies they cannot go there also after anointing as high priest then nor shall he go out of the sanctuary nor profane the sanctuary of his god for the consecration of the anointing oil of his god is upon him and the lord he should not step out also out of the sanctuary there only have to stay inside the tabernacle the curtain gate the courtyards whatever is there there he has to roam all the way the courtyards is there no rotate rotate there only has to roam in the rectangle only he should stay a widow or a divorced woman or a defiled woman or a hair lord this he shall not marry but he shall take a virgin of his own people as a wife again that same thing for him only a widow or divorced woman adulterous woman hair lord woman he shall not take that her as a wife he shall only take a virgin from his own people as a wife now shall he profane his prostitute among his people for i the lord sanctify him and the lord spoke to moses saying speak to aaron saying no man of your descendants in succeeding generations who has any defect may approach to offer the bread of his god for any man who has a defect shall not approach a man blind or lame who has a made face or any limb too long a man who has a broken foot or a broken hand is a hunchback or a drop or a man who has a defect in his eye or eczema or scab or is a anxious no man of his the descendants of aaron the priest who has a defect shall come near to offer the offerings made by fire to the lord he has a defect he shall not come near to offer the bread of his god he may eat the bread of his god both the most holy and the holy this person who have some defect means a folio or any defect in a eye eczema we have we cannot see blind lame one limb is big one limb is small the bones are big small and he has something disease he cannot come near to god and offer the bread but he can eat that bread but he cannot come near even though he is a descendant of this aaron then also he cannot come near and offer that bread because it's holy but he can eat that both bread most holy and the holy he can eat but cannot offer that thing because he is the descendant of aaron but he also have a defect in his whole body that's why he cannot eat that that's why he is not allowed to do that or perform the duties because he have one defect because that defect at that time they may think that it is because of their sinful nature which they have committed in previous years that's why that defect will come to them that's why at that time they will not allow those kind of people to offer in front of god even god is not allowing them to offer the things the bread the burnt offering all that services which they are doing they should not offer if they have any defect in their body 
only he shall not go near the veil or approach the altar because he has a defect lest he profane my sanctuary for i the lord sanctify them so he can eat the bread the most holy and the holy but he cannot approach go inside the veil the holy place and the most holy inside the tabernacle he cannot go only the courtyard is permitted for him i think the courtyard only is there inside he cannot go because he have a defect and moses told it to aaron and his sons and to all the children of israel so this is the end of today's chapter it's not end the chapter only ended but the rules and regulation is continued in 22 chapter also of the leviticus it's a continuation heading is still there so we are going to read next week up to 16 chapter from leviticus 22 chapter 1 verse to 16th verse we are going to read after that another topic starts offering accepted and not accepted that we are going to see in coming session in next week today we have learned this much only regulations for the conduct of priest which which funeral ceremonies he should not go a woman whom he should marry or not and after that we have also seen any defect he has he cannot come near the tabernacle or enter the door of the tabernacle to offer the bread in front of the lord that all things we have seen today only three things main main which we have learned today it is small chapter only have 24 words that two verses are very small so it a bit earlier today let us we end the session with a prayer our heavenly father we have learned everything today my father the regulations you have given for the priest at that time These are applicable till now for the preachers who are preaching today, my Father. Help us not to run away from that, but to follow them. Listen to them carefully, my Father. Help to not to uh, disgrace that things in any way, and help us to gracefully take all the commandments which you have given to us and put that in our hearts and minds and follow them, my Father. The funeral, the marriage ceremonies, and all that we have seen. Who are eligible to offer bread who have any defect they cannot offer bread in front of you my father that all we have seen but you are giving them chance to eat the bread but not to offer it that all we have seen we all have different duties according to your will help us to fulfill those duties my father in the precious name of lord jesus christ i pray amen